up and just make a joyous sound in the house of God today. Come on, just be joyous, be joyous. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Hallelujah. You are a wonderful God, a great King. Father, we just thank you. Let's just do something. Let's just lay it all down, huh? Let's just put it at the foot of the cross. You're not going to need that stuff to where we're going to go. Amen. I want you to lay down your burdens. I want you to lay down everything that has been hindering you. Maybe this morning you got up and things just wasn't going right. Just, just, just gently just lay it down. You know, his word says that without faith, it's impossible to please him. And so one of the ways that we can please God is in that faith to trust him with our stuff. Say, Lord, here's my stuff. I don't know what to do with it. All I know that it's unbearable. And it's just way so heavy on me, Lord. But your word says this, that we give to you for your burden is light. For your burden is light. And so, Father, we offer these things to you. Take this, Lord. Take our stuff, Lord. We thank you for your love. Come on, somebody, just lift up your voice and say, take this stuff, Lord. Take it. Say, take it from me, Jesus. Take it from me. Hallelujah. We thank you for his love. His word states that he loves us. We love him because he loves us first. The book of John says that there is no greater love than the love of he who would lay down his life for his friends. And I thank Jesus. I thank him with everything that I have that he laid down in his life for us. If you truly believe that your Jesus is your Lord and Savior, that he has saved you from all that stuff, that you claim that he is God, Almighty, the Lord of your life. Just gently lift up your hands and just begin to worship. Worship Him with your own mouth, with your own heart, with your own spirit. If you need to say, God, take this, let Him take it. Lay it on in faith. Believe it. Believe in His love. Believe in His love. Believe in His love. Lord, we believe in your love.
Father, we worship you. We thank you for loving us, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Church in the Bible, it says, draw close to him, and he will draw close to you. The fact of the matter is, he has never left. He has always been there with you. No matter what you're going through, no matter what situation you're in, He's always been there. We need to acknowledge Him. We need to know that He's been there. You know, it's like when we go bowling with those bumper guards on the side for the, for the little kids. That's God is our bumper guard. He's always been there. We fall left or right. Fall forward, fall backwards, he's been there. We just need to acknowledge that he is there. He is our Lord. He's our maker. Lord, we love you. We come to you humble, broken, Lord. Lost. We ask for direction, for guidance, Lord. We ask for your presence in this place. Lord, I love you. How I love you more and more each day. I just want to be close, close to. Under the shadow of your wings, please hide me, Lord, so that I, I might be close, close to
Thank you, Lord, for your word says in the book of Psalms. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. So we thank you, Lord, that we're never really poor without you. And once we have you, we have everything that we need. So we pray, Father, as a congregation, as one body, under one covering, under one God. We pray, Lord, to take our eyes off of the things that we think we need. But that we recommit and we refocus our eyes on you. We thank you, Lord, that you're ever so willing and ever so faithful. That we believe in your word that is true. That when we draw near to you, it will draw near to us. You are our shepherd. And all we ever want is to be close to you. We thank you, Lord, for this time of worship. We thank you, Lord, that we could say, take it away, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that we could declare, Father, give this. I have no need of it. We thank you that you can trade our sorrows for your joy. We thank you, Lord, that you have given us a garment of praise in the spirit of heaviness. We thank you, Lord, that you could take our ashes and make them beautiful. We thank you for you. You are all that we will ever need. Every step we take, every breath we make. Father, we want to breathe in you. We want to step in your direction. All we need is you, Father. Thank you for your love. Thank you for shepherding us. Thank you for this time of worship. I pray for your spirit, Lord, not to give up on this place. I pray for your spirit, Lord, to continue to move to the hearts of men and women in this place, breaking down the walls, tearing off the chains, redeeming them, and restoring the things that the enemy has taken. I pray that your spirit, Lord, brings the wholesomeness in our lives. And I pray that you reveal yourself true and strong in the midst of our circumstance. We love you, Father. We give you the praise and we give you the glory because you are worth it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody shout out amen. amen. God is good all the time. He is such a great God. He is such a good God. He will never leave nor forsake a child of God. When the enemy comes in like a flood, your God will raise in you a standard, no weapon from against a child of God shall ever prosper. Give him praise. Give him glory because he is worthy. Father, we love you and we thank you. We give you the praises and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Turn to your neighbor and welcome them in the house of God.